might be way wrong. I wouldn't have a clue, but it's just my own own opinion that there was more wood chopped with the friggin' axe than there was with chainsaws. Every river had a log drive on it with hundreds and hundreds of thousands of logs. Now you see one big mill, maybe saw a few million or something. Everything was built out of wood then. All the houses were all wood. They shipped more. So it's only reasonable, uh, me guessing, that, that there's more wood cut with the axe than will ever be cut with a chainsaw. Mac Armstrong doesn't use the buck saw and the axe anymore, but he uses the river just like his grandfather did. In the spring, he floats his logs along it, and in the summer and fall, the water powers his mill. My father used to run it. He worked all alone. He used to roll a log on the carriage, start the carriage going, and saw up the slab, pull the cords, the carriage went back. He walked back here, he turned the log over, and I'm practically doing the same 70 years later. I always have orders. A lot of, I saw a lot of boat stuff. And Specialized stuff? Well, I don't know, stuff that other people won't saw. Why is that? Well, they don't want to be bothered, I guess. Boat stuff, I mean, you take and saw a keel for a boat, so you got to be quite fussy, you know. You saw a stick out, and you get it all sawed out, there's knot in it, so it's no good. So the next guy, he just won't bother with it. Yeah, I see. The guy's going to build a boat, he's, he's got to have something that's some good. And, I'd say that this mill's run about 66 years. It probably was built about 1909. Yeah. And uh, I, I think I was 21 years old. And you helped build it or what? Beg pardon? Did you help make it to build it? Yes, uh, well, I framed the timbers and put in the machinery. We had about 15 feet. You must have about 17 feet from the... From below the wheel, you see, to the top of the dam. Yeah. And at 13 feet, that turbine developed 55 horsepower. I'd say you'll get pretty close to 75 horsepower here with this height. First thing in the morning when I want to start the saw, I go out and I lift this, this big gate, lift it up until this whole flume fills up with water. So when I start to let the water in, I just wind this, this drum up. There's five gates on this wheel. And when they're closed, there's, there's no water going through it. And once I turn this, this water wheel, it opens so these five doors. And the further I open it, the more water that gets in, so the faster the mill goes. This crown gear here is made of wooden wooden cogs. There's a pinion gear on top, which is right here. But your main shaft uh, runs back through and starts everything rolling. You start your saw going. When I want to start sawing order out, I just go out in the, in the pond here where my logs are. I haul a cable out here, throw my chain down and hook on a two or three or four, whatever I want. Back in and put my winch in gear, winch them up to, to here. Then I take and roll them over here onto the bed. And I'll roll my carriage back, roll the log onto the carriage, and start sawing.
my slabs all go to a cutting up saw. I carry my boards back and pile them all back here. I dare say if it was, everything was greased right, it would probably never wear out, especially around a the mill there. The, you might have to replace a saw once in a while, but I think I bought that saw 20 years ago, and well, it's just as good probably as it ever was. Mac owns 2,000 acres of woodland. He cuts the mature trees for lumber, making way for new growth. This practice guarantees his own living and a continuing supply of wood for his customers. I was all alone all day yesterday and been alone for about a week now. Too busy. All right, I'll, we'll, uh, I'll drop down. Mac's most reliable help comes from old woodsmen like his friend Percy, who built the mill, or like Richard, a retired woodcutter, who already knows the woods and the work. I was 13 years old when I went to the woods. And my father and I worked together. We wasn't allowed to cut anything down small. We built roads to it, too. And trail cut, piled it up, half cord piles, cord piles. And we got dollar and a quarter cord for it then. Peeled wood. We made a living on it. And the woodland's still in good shape right today. It's been cut three times since I cut it. I think it's quite possible to, uh, to take this woodland and farm it. We've got to do that. And you, you could make certain amount of stuff that isn't any good for anything else into chips. You could even go a little further. They're getting so now they use the bark and the twigs and so on. It's hard to tell what could be farmed out of the forest resources and turned into money right on the spot. Take this, this piece of ground right here. This family's had that for a long time and taken care of it right. and worked it every year. And uh, it's quite possible to do that all over the country. We haven't had to do it yet. We've just mined this country. We haven't farmed it. They just can't operate. Uh, there was a nice mill up in, around Lawrence Station, and there's another fellow had a nice mill, and it just seemed to me he couldn't get help. You got three people, you got to pay compensation, you got to pay unemployment, and you got to pay vacation pay. And, and if I'm going to sell lumber for for uh, ninety dollars a thousand and, and pay fifty or sixty dollars a thousand for it, no way you can operate. This is why they're going out of business.
Uh, I don't like to work all the time, but if you can't get anybody to help you and, and, and you're waiting for lumber, I mean, I got to find myself working every day and every night, six days a week. And, and uh, I don't know, if I had Saturday off, I wouldn't know what to do with it anyway. I mean, I just soon work as, yeah. uh, but I mean, I'd like to have one Saturday off in a, in a year. I've got my own mill and uh, I don't spend much money on it. I get no overhead. I'm working out here. I make $20. I'm not paying 40 out. And uh, I've saved up a little bit of money and I'm gonna work and make, make a living.